Experts reveal that Africa is slowly splitting in two and the transformation is astonishing. Up close, the process is even more shocking. A massive crack now stretches from Mozambique in the south all the way to the Red Sea in the north. This gap keeps widening each year, tearing apart the land and displacing communities. Surprisingly, specialists now believe this dramatic shift could happen much sooner than previously expected. creating active volcanoes along the way. This region is incredibly hot, with daytime temperatures soaring up to 130 degrees Fahrenheit and nighttime temperatures cooling only to around 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Within this fiery zone lies the Afar Triangle, also known as the Afar Depression, a region shaped by rifting that creates valleys, faults and deep cracks. One striking example is a 35 meter long fissure in Ethiopia's desert so wide that a person could easily fit inside. Even more alarming, this crack continues to grow by about half an inch every year. As the Nubian and Somali plates drift apart, Africa may eventually gain a new ocean. This process isn't unheard of. About 150 million years ago, a similar tectonic shift led to the formation of the Atlantic Ocean, separating the supercontinent Pangaea into the eastern and western hemispheres. Experts predict that one day, the waters of the Indian Ocean could flood the East African Rift Valley, giving birth to a sixth ocean. Sadly, this won't happen in our lifetime. According to geophysicist Ken MacDonald, this split could occur in one to five million years, remarkably fast in geological terms. Even though this full separation is far off, people in the region are already feeling the impact. Volcanic eruptions and earthquakes are becoming more frequent as the land shifts. For example, the large fissure in Ethiopia's desert emerged in 2005 following two volcanic eruptions and a series of 163 earthquakes, each with a magnitude greater than 3.9. What normally takes centuries happened here in just a matter of days. This intense seismic activity could accelerate the process, making it difficult to predict exactly when Africa will finally split. If the experts are right, this new landmass, dubbed the Nubian continent, could include Somalia, Kenya, Tanzania, and parts of Ethiopia. While this may seem exciting, the shift poses serious challenges. Countries will need to prepare for changes in infrastructure and land management as roads, homes, and entire communities could be lost. For instance, in Kenya, a large fissure tore through a busy road, forcing authorities to fill the gap with rocks and cement. In another case, a family in Ethiopia was eating dinner when their home suddenly split in half. Recent earthquakes near Ethiopia's Afar region have also destroyed 37 schools, leaving about 5,000 students displaced. Unfortunately, these events may become more common in the years to come. However, there could be some positive outcomes. Landlocked countries like Zambia and Uganda may gain coastlines, unlocking new trade routes and economic opportunities. Tourism could also boom, with newly formed beaches attracting visitors from around the world. Additionally, new marine species may thrive in this developing ocean ecosystem. The rift's path is most advanced in the eastern region, but things could get even more complicated. Geologist Michael Daly from the University of Oxford has proposed that this rift could extend westward. Recent evidence supports his theory, suggesting the crack may continue south through Botswana and into South Africa, while also stretching west through Namibia toward the Atlantic Ocean. If these fractures widen, the ocean could seep in, turning parts of Africa into an archipelago, though this change would take tens of millions of years to unfold. Madagascar may also face significant changes as the world's fourth largest island could eventually split in half. But could new land emerge too? Well, as the Nubian and Somali plates pull apart, magma could rise to the surface, cooling and solidifying into new land formations, similar to how Iceland and the Azores were formed. Over time, new islands could emerge along the East African Rift. 
The Afar Depression is particularly fascinating for scientists. It's the most active rift system on Earth, offering a front row view of tectonic evolution in action. With fault lines, volcanic activity and the potential for a sixth ocean, this region holds invaluable insights into Earth's geological processes. The region's geothermal potential is equally impressive. Ethiopia is already tapping into this energy, with two geothermal power plants operating in the Rift Valley and Afar regions. More exploration is underway to expand this sustainable energy source. Despite all the research, some mysteries remain. For instance, in 2017, a 6.5 magnitude earthquake in Botswana caused a crack to appear far south of the rift zone. Since rift-related cracks usually accompany volcanic activity, this unexpected shift challenges our understanding of how continents divide. Scientists are still working to solve this puzzle before Africa fully transforms into a sprawling chain of islands. So what do you think? Could this monumental change reshape the future of Africa in ways we never imagined? If you found this fascinating, give the video a like, share it with friends and keep exploring the wonders of our ever-changing planet.